Hello and welcome, I'm KMC and this is a little bit out of the norm but I thought I'd bring a little bit of gameplay from Ziggurat or if, I hope that's how you pronounce it anyway <laughs> um, it come out today I know it's been out for a while for the PC so I thought we'd have a quick bash on it and uh, give ourselves a chance to make a decision as to whether it's worth getting or not very fast paced game um, never played it before so I thought just get straight in just having a look at what I can and can't do From my first impressions, I think it's just one of them games that you just carry on playing, you see how far you can get. It is fast paced, it's a very mad game. Uh, it's straight from me off, you go through these opposite doors down here. Bad gun stuff. Straight away you can see it just gets straight into the game. No messing around. It is literally that fast to walk through the wrong doors. <laughs> walk through the wrong doors and this is what happens, you just different things just start happening. <laughs> I suppose it's probably one of them addictive games that you just keep trying and trying to get further and further. Um, it, for me, it's kind of like a mobile game being brought to Xbox, which seems to be the trend at the moment. It, just like small games seem to be taking back off, which is great for old school players. Definitely not premium game, but. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of fun. I mean, when you're getting stuck into it, it, you just start getting lost. And it's just... It's such a weird game. <laughs> I suppose the more I play it, the more I get into it. I suppose that you just try not lost here. Maybe I'm just too stuck in my ways now and I love Minecraft too much, I don't know. But it's different, it's fast. If you're into stuff like fast paced, a little bit out of the norm, you know, it's not COD, it is far from your average shooter. A very weird game. But I do imagine it being addictive. Especially when you get a couple of goes in and your friends start playing. You're gonna be aiming to beat them. It is not bad, it takes a while to get used to. This was my first go personally, but I actually got it with the notion of just putting out a video, you know, we'd check it out, see what's happening with the new games on there. Quite interesting that Scream Ride as well actually. That looks quite a mad game. I did download the demo but never got around to playing it. I, I might actually get on there at some point. A uh, bit of a crafting game but for roller coasters.
seems to me that you just take a random door. If it leads nowhere, you come back, you take a door that you didn't take. And you just try and collect stuff as you go through. There's no real aim to the game apart from shoot. Have fun shooting, I suppose. Okay, looking at that, actually I suppose you need the portal key to get through the portal. Um, so I suppose you do just keep going through the labyrinths as much as possible until you eventually come up against a boss like this and hopefully you've got a portal key already. <laughs> Me personally, I'm quite into my indie games anyway, so I probably will get stuck into it at some point when I'm not too busy minecrafting. <laughs> But it makes a change of something different, it's nice, you know. It's always nice to be able to chuck on something for a change and just get lost in it for a while. Guys, when I exited the game, it only gave me the uh, option of starting a new game. No load, no nothing like that. So, I would say to save and quit. <laughs> and then to go back. Definitely save and quit, actually. Going on my past experience, because just now when I tried to reload, um, I exited the game to get the video done. <laughs> but clicked into it and it just said new game, so start fresh in terms of comparing it to other games I really don't know what to uh, put it next to I actually got it because it said dungeons and yeah, labyrinth all them names that sort of grab your attention. It really wasn't what I was expecting though. It's fast, it's easy, you could just pick it up, start playing. It, it really does remind me of uh, mobile platform games. It's that sort of, I think they are taking over now. You go out by, you know, spend all the money on the next gen console and they seem to be bringing out a lot of low end graphic games. Not that this is low end, it's actually quite a beautiful game. Just, um, just an observation of what they are releasing. <laughs> This room is the reason I actually did die. It left me with hardly any health. Really didn't do me no favours at all.
They look really menacing, I thought, oh wait a minute, as soon as I walk through in, oh, I'm going to end up squished. But no worse, I ended up coming down here. These things are so fast you can run around in circles, but it just doesn't help. I think just about here will die in a, uh, not so long, but uh, I think I actually started getting a feel for the game, I thought, yeah, I, I think I could get into this quite, you know. And... Not back. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that bit of gameplay. Um, I know it wasn't long, I know I didn't do especially well. But it does give you a feel for the game. Get to view it. Um, I'll be back on with my Minecraft builds in just a little while. Thanks for watching guys.